Taking over in the landscape of the kicks and capping any bricks. I'll fire you desire, my rock can maybe flip. It's season, you never trip. Getting them early, you never miss. No bot. But if they have me get to the court, they cap. Now welcome to Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, yeah, Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, Sneaker World. Hey, yo, what's good, Joe? It's your boy, Bobby. And welcome back to Bobby Sneaker World. If you're new around here and that big button down below is still red, you're doing it all wrong. Make sure that button is gray. Subscribe to the channel, join the movement. Hey, I'm gonna try to make this video quick. I promise you that I don't plan on being on here long. You can see from the title and the thumbnail what this video is all about, so I'm not gonna hold a bunch of mystery about it. This is about the Nike Dunk Low Brazil re-release, retro, restock. I have no idea how you want to describe this release, um, but it was something that I really, really wanted. Um, they're going to be doing a couple retros of a few of the dunks um, from 2020. Now, this is the first. No, I think they released initially probably back in 20, 2001, maybe. But anyway, the one that most people re remember is the most recent one of 2020. Uh, Nike Dunk Lows made a huge resurgence in the sneaker community. Um, across the landscape in 2020 and the Nike Brazil was one of them the Dunk Low Brazil was one of those I think they're also going to be re-releasing plums this year which I'm going to try to go after and Dunk Low veneers which I'm going to try to go after I had none of the three at the time now I'm one for three so you know hopefully I can go three for three this year on those 2020 releases and that was another thing that i was interested in I, i've rambled enough i apologize i haven't even shown the sneaker in the in the video but bam now i was able to get my pair from sneaker politics uh online now for a sneaker that's not reselling for a lot of money anymore like 2020 when dunks were really hot again um all of those sneakers are reselling for 300 plus dollars now they're close to retail which is a great thing and i hope that a lot of people if you're i don't go the resale market route but for those that want really want a sneaker and don't mind spending a little bit or a lot of bit whatever your preference is over retail this is a, a definitely a, um a sneaker that's easily attainable for not much over retail like they were four years ago so I'm happy to these re-release. I'll show you a little bit of a up close. Now, the only thing, see, I, I haven't put these on foot yet, but I had to, <laughs> they had these choked out like PJ Carlissimo. Uh, it, it completely changed the look of the sneaker when I opened the box because the damn eyelets were damn near touching. It was choked out so much. And what they did to mine should be criminal. They changed the shape of mine. I'll sh Look how humped this is on the toe box because they stuffed it with so much tissue paper that it was bulged up like this. It had like a rhinoceros horn on the front of my sneaker. It was crazy. It'll change over time. The leather is way better than most of your dunks that um, your general release dunks that have released over the last four years. Uh, the leather quality is better as well at least to the touch no leatherologist but at least to the touch it feels better it feels softer and the grain feels better um but i like this color i love this colorway hopefully this toe box comes down because there's no no tissue paper in there now but it's it was so stuffed in the box who knows how long it sat in there that it, it completely warped the toe box on these and they were choked out so with wear, hopefully they relax a little bit and mold more to my foot um, in the shape. So that's one thing that I'm not really concerned about, but I do love this colorway, you know what I'm saying? You can see it. I try to get away from reviews where you state and obviously, oh yeah, you got a yellow, you got a yellow panel here on the side and then you got a green. You're looking at the sneaker. Why am I breaking down the colors while you're looking at it? Now, if I was doing a radio podcast and I'm like, yo, you got a yellow swoosh on the side or whatever, that makes more sense. But if you're blind, you don't need to be, it doesn't matter what your sneakers look like. Um, anywho, got a green box. <laughs> oh man, I should cut that out, but I'm leaving it. Um, 
anyway, I, I do have a couple. <laughs> oh man, I do have a couple other dump, dumps like from that time period. I got the UNLVs, uh, and you can see with this shape. I, I wear these a lot. You can see all the creasing, but it's it's flat. And it didn't come all bubbled up and, and pressed to the ceiling and all that. You know what I'm saying? But I love these. I think I recently got these. What release is this? This is a, re this is a recent release, I believe. Yeah, this is 20, 2023. Um, got these. Got the Georgetowns. This is just a few. Got the UNC joints. And one of my favorites right here. So that's just a few of them. Um, like I said, I am looking forward to the retro of the plums and the veneers as well. And if they decide to drop any of the other ones from 2020 or back in the day, I'm gonna be right there for them. And, that, and before I get out of here, one thing that I did wanna look, I wanted to see if these were like just old pairs that have been sitting there. I didn't think they would be for four years, but you never know. Um, so I wanted to look at the the dates on the inside to see when they were made. And the dates on mine are June of 23 to September of 23. So these are made last year. These were just made. They aren't like some something that just been sitting in the warehouse or whatever. They actually just put these back together. These are whole new batches um, for this year's release. Um, so anyway, like I said, if you're new around here, subscribe at least consider it um i'm trying to make more content i'm still going to do a heater cheeks for this month even though we're a couple days in it doesn't really matter because heater cheeks is more about my opinion more than the actual sneakers that are already released or haven't released yet it's just my opinion on the releases so i'm still going to do that i might actually shoot it today but anyway i appreciate y'all watching another one of my videos let me know in the comment section down below how do y'all feel about these did you go after them are they trash and you had no interest? That's fine as well. I love them. Ovie!